Hello, Carrie here. I'm just getting out my Inktense pencils. I've already outlined in pencil um, some leaves, sh leaf shapes, which I'm now just going to go over the, with the outlines with the Inktense pencils before I start painting them in watercolours. This colour I'm using is a nice brown. Not quite sure what it is. I think it's a burnt sienna. Oh, taking that bracelet off, it's annoying. And I'm just going over the outlines and I'm speeding this up a little bit because this video would have been very, very long. <laughs> and we want to get to the fun part, the watercolour soon, don't we? The good thing about Inktense pencils is when you activate them with water, they do run a little bit into the watercolours, which I like. But then once they dry, they remain in place. They aren't water activatable. <laughs> Again, if that's a word. I've got a variety of leaves. I've got some birch. I've got some willow. I've got, I'm not quite sure what that one on the left was. Um, I've got a little Acer. Just some odds and ends. That's another birch. And uh, not all of them have gone completely yellow. Some are a little bit green still. Oh, this is an oak. An English oak. Just rubbing out a bit more of the pencil. I don't want it to show too strongly. And this is the little Acer, which is very much like a maple leaf. Very pretty little leaf. It has a nice ready colour in it. These are the little willow leaves. And now I can start with the painting. The fun part. Now I'm mixing up, you can't see it because I'm just out of screen. I'm mixing up some yellow and I think I'm using um, new gamboge here. No, I'm using a rolling yellow and I have a little bit of red mixed in with it. And now I'm adding in some of the sap green. Because this one has still has some green remaining in the leaves. So they're a mixture of green and yellow. Uh, the first layer I just put on some colours and then I'll go over again and reinforce the colours because with watercolours, they, as they dry, they go lighter. And I prefer to build them up in layers. And I'm just dropping in some more colour there while they're still wet. So the colours flow together and run, which is what I like about watercolours. Now this leaf, I'm just going straight in with the Aeolian yellow. I think there's a touch of green in there, but that doesn't matter. I should be adding some other colours on top and making it a bit warmer. Here we go, I'm adding in some of the red mixed with, uh, the red I'm using is just a touch because it's very strong, Windsor Red mixed in with New Gamboge and together they make a lovely, um, lovely brown, well, orangey brown actually. And so I'm just letting the colours run together there. 
and you can see where the you can see the spine where the um, ink tense pencil has remained in place which I'm quite pleased about it's softened but remained in place and this little leaf I'm just going in with some of the darker color and then I'm going to add a little bit of red now the red I've used there is alizarin crimson what I love the veining that's happening there that's gorgeous that's the beauty of watercolors they sometimes do things all by themselves um, here I'm adding, I think it's just some of the Aerolin yellow. And now I'm going in with some Alizarin Crimson mixed with New Gamboge. It makes a nice rusty colour. What I try to do when I'm painting in watercolour is to be methodical and work from left to right because I'm right-handed and it means I don't smudge the colours underneath my hand. Dabbing in a little of the orange mix there and letting it do its own thing. And now I'm going in to wet the little Acer leaf that's like the maple leaf there. There is a little bit of yellow on the paintbrush, but that doesn't matter. Just wetting it all over. And now I'm going in with some. What colour is this? I think this is Windsor Red mixed with Alizarin Crimson. And now I'm going to add in some of the orange mix. And by working this way, wet paint into wet paint, you get some lovely little blends happening. That is the beauty of watercolour. And I'm just dabbing some little bits here and there, just to encourage a bit of, bit further, bit of further interest. And I'm doing the stalk with some of the Windsor Red. This leaf is going to be mostly yellow, I think. So that looks like New Gamboge. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of the brown uh, of the orange mix. The little willow leaves. A bit of the orange mix and a little bit of green. I'm going to encourage those to run together now by adding another colour, another yellow in between. So that's a bit of cool yellow, the um, Aerolin, which is quite a cool yellow, and a little bit of the orange mix there. So I've let them dry, and now I'm going to come in and work over them again. And this more or less finishes them off, so I'm going to wet them again. Just a few leaves at a time. 
and I'm going to put some yellow on top and some of the lovely cobalt turquoise it's one of my favorite colors it's a nice cool it's a nice cool blue uh, leaning towards green and when it blends with the cool yellow um, it's quite a beautiful green and slightly it slightly is knocked back by the um, sap green un underneath so it's not too vibrant it's more natural encouraging the colors to flow together here again as well That's that one done and I'm going to work into this one I'm just going to add some I'm just going to wet it all over again I'm going to add a little bit more red strengthen that color up and I'm going to add in some more of the orange and that gives that color a bit more depth this one down here I'm going to go in with some more of the orange And a bit of yellow. You see how the colour has faded as it's dried? This is why I feel it necessary to go in with a second colour. I'm now giving this one just an entire wash with the new gamboge and a bit of the orange mix. And that softens all those colours underneath. And now I'm just going to go in with some of the ink tense pencils and just tidy up some of the edges. I quite like to do this. Uh, reinforce some stems, add some veins in, um, tidy up some edges that may have, look, have gone a little bit raggedy. I'm just dabbing off a bit of paint that uh, went outside the edges there. some little veins and now I'm going in with a burnt sienna type of colour I'm not quite sure if that is the colour but it's the uh, sort of colour Adding some veins. And this one I'm going with a nice crimson colour. For this one and the little um, Asa leaf.
And now I'll be able to use these leaves in my art journal, so I can just cut them out. They're on fairly thin watercolour paper, so they're easy to cut out and use in my art journals. And if you would like to have some of these yourself, they will be available in my Etsy shop, which I shall link below. Thank you for watching. Bye.